Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Lavish Bath Box for January 2019. Lavish is a bath subscription where they send you different things like bath bombs, bubble bars, and everything like that um, from indie brands every month with a different theme every month. It is around $45 to $46 every month. Um, that's with shipping. So when you go on the website, it'll give you a different price and then they'll chuck on shipping on top of that. And so that's why it comes up to that price. But if you pay for longer subscription periods, it does become cheaper. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different unboxings here from bath boxes, beauty boxes, home decor, fashion, um, and everything in between. So if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into the box. I think it's some sort of winter theme this month from what I remember. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so in the past they've had like the sticker of who packed your box, but it's not there at that time. So I don't know if they just forgot or if they're not doing that anymore. And then they usually have some sort of piece of styrofoam. And so this month's theme is winter wonderland. You take the card off and then there are squiggles with the bath stuff underneath and they're a different color, I think, every time. Um, so this is what the artwork looks like. They've changed their logo and I like the new logo, but I, but I like the old logo too. I don't know. I'm just so used to this box. I'm wondering if eventually they're going to change their boxes to meet the new logo. And it looks like we are getting a total of six products in the box. So let me go ahead and start unboxing. So the first thing that I am pulling out is a snow day bath bomb. And this is from Bath Candy Shop. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like there, trying to block the light from there. So this buttery balm is extra moisturizing with beautiful blue hues and a grapefruit, neroli, and rose scent known to lush fans as a frozen dupe. I don't know, I'm not, not that I'm not a Lush fan because I really do like Lush bath products, but because I get this bath box and another bath box, I typically do not purchase from Lush anymore. Um, but it smells good. It smells like clean, it kind of smells laundry detergent y, but it smells good. Then the next thing that I am pulling out is from Pop Natural. And this is a snowflake shower steamer. Clear out sinuses and breathe easier by placing a steamer in the shower outside the direct stream of water. It will fizzle, releasing refreshingly powerful scent of menthol and eucalyptus essential oil into the stream. Ooh, from what I can smell, that smells really good. It's hard to smell it because of the way that it's packaged. Now, I do really enjoy shower, shower steamers. I don't use them that often because I like to save them. Um, for when I, they would be perfect if you like have a cold or you're congested, that'd be the perfect thing to put in the shower with you in the morning. So I tend to save them for mornings where I'm not feeling as good. Um, then the next thing I am pulling out is from Marvelous Soap. And this is their winter candy bubble bar. Break into pieces and crumble under the tap for bubbles and bath water that shimmers like the icy snow, featuring a mini soap snowflake and a crispy candied apple scent. I'm not getting apple from that. And there is a hole, uh, like a little hole in there. I mean, it smells good, but I'm not getting apple. But I, I love bubble bars and that little soap snowflake is so cute. I will say, I know it's January, and this theme is totally fitting, and I love their themes, but I'm ready for spring. Anybody else? Like, I want it to be light outside late so I can go on my walks, I want to be able to do stuff, because when it gets dark, I don't want to do anything. Then the next thing I'm pulling out is from Nectar Fresh Body, and this is the Baby It's Cold Outside Scrub. This rich and creamy whipped sugar scrub will exfoliate as you cleanse with a wintry spa-like scent of cold air, ozone, and fresh mint, topped with a snowflake soap. Okay, I don't know what cold air and snow zone, snow, ozone, <laughs> snow zone, smell like. I mean, I could assume. Ooh, that does smell good. If that's what cold air and ozone smell like, I'm all for it. And there, if you can see, it's kind of like, it's not even white. It's like more of a clear, opaque. There we go. A uh, little soap there so that that is really really nice I'm excited for that good to use if you're gonna like shave your legs in the bath or something like that or even in the shower oh there's two shower steamers oh my god that just made me so happy I don't know why but you get two shower steamers cool two for the price of one I can take that all right 
Then the second to last thing is um, by Batix Made, B-A-I-T-X Made. Um, and this is the Cozy Winter Nights Soy Candle. Um, ultra clean, clean burning, 100% hand poured dye free soy candle is scented in comforting pine needles, cinnamon, and orange notes with hints of a smoky fireplace. So that's what the packaging looks like. So let's give it a whiff. That smells. Um, actually, I have it right behind me. Very close to the winter um, candle by Bath and Body Works. That one smells like smoke though because it's been lit. Um, but it smells, but it's, it smells different. It doesn't smell exactly the same, but it, it has a lot of the same notes and it just has a stereotypical wick. Nothing fancy there. Um, so yay, excited. I always love a candle to light when I'm in the bath. And then the last thing that I am pulling out is from Rinse Bath and Body Co. And this is their Yucca Mint Body Bliss Oil. Um, it is in all over body moisturizing oil, bath oil, or massage oil that soaks into dry winter skin, leaving a healthy natural glow behind. Scented with eucalyptus and spearmint essential oils. Okay, have to be careful with it because it has essential oils. Um, if you have pets, especially small pets like hamsters, anything like that, I have a hamster, um, you do have to be careful with it because they can be toxic. So if I'm going to use like this on my body, then I need to not pick up my hamster. Um, or if I like light, if I put it on and then I'm in my sheets or whatever, I don't want to bring my hamster there just because of that. So if you have a pet, make sure you're doing your research when it comes to essential oils because you don't want to be sending your pet to the hospital and it's your fault. Also, I'm spritzing this on my arm. Okay, so it is very oily. I thought it might be more like a spray. Can you see that dripping down my arm? Let me rub it in. Oh wow, that smells so good though. It is, it does rub into the skin good. I mean, it leaves like a little bit of an oil there, but nothing that would, I'm, I get very bothered by stuff like that, but it, it definitely is a lightweight. Oh man, that smells so good. Now I can't touch my hamster, but it smells so good. Okay, so I think that this was a great box. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up to the screen because they do have different codes at the different shops and it has their social media handles and everything. So if you want to use those, you can go ahead and pause the screen now and look at that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I will leave the link to Lavish down below if you're interested in signing up and I'll see you in my next video.